Hi everyone, welcome to Ahmed Academy. This video will cover the 3D morphology of the permanent maxillary central incisors. They erupt around the age of 7 to 8 years, with its root being completely formed by the age of 10 years. In nearly all maxillary central incisors, there is only one root canal with one apex. These are the largest incisors with the primary function of shearing and cutting. We will be looking at the morphology from different viewing aspects. First the labial, followed by the plato, then the mesial and the distal. So number one, the labial. This viewing aspect considers the portion of the tooth visible from the side where the lips would be. From this viewing aspect, we can observe a straight incisal edge, a cervical line with an even curvature towards the root, distal side has a curved outline whereas the mesial side has a relatively straight outline resulting in a mesial incisal line angle which is sharp near 90 degrees however the distal incisal line angle is relatively rounded the root is cone shaped apex is blunted and usually inclines slightly distally from this viewing aspect, we can use the mesial incisor line angle which is sharp 90 degrees relative to the distal incisor line angle to distinguish which maxillary central incisor we're dealing with. Is it the right or is it the left? Number two considers the palatal viewing aspect of the tooth. This is the portion of the tooth visible from the side where the tongue would be. From this viewing aspect, we can observe a small convexity called the cingulum and a large concavity called the lingual fossa. Along the mesial and the distal sides are slightly raised portions which are called marginal ridges. And finally, number three considers the mesial and distal viewing aspects of the tooth. From a mesial direction, we can observe the portion of the tooth visible from the side closest to where the midline of the face would be. Whereas from a distal direction, we can observe the portion of the tooth visible from the side furthest from where the midline of the face would be. From these viewing aspects, we can observe that the crown looks wedge-shaped a line drawn through the crown and the root will bisect the incisal ridge and the apex of the root. The cervical line curves in the incisal direction, less curved in the distal view but more curved in the mesial view. This is a key point to help you distinguish between the left and the right maxillary central incisor. The curve is more incisally placed relative to the palatal and labial cervical lines. The images featured in this video were courtesy of the University of Dundee School of Dentistry. You can find the link to these 3D models in the description. Please consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching.